What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, we got some shocking reports, some shocking news, some news we didn't expect. Wonder if it's true. So, ESPN Deportes, ESPN Mexico, is reporting that they had conversations with the team of un, of four division world champion, Mexican superstar boxer, who is widely considered the face of the sport of boxing and is the undisputed super middleweight world champion, Mexican superstar boxer, Saul Canelo Alvarez. 60 wins, two losses, two draws, 39 big wins by way of knockout. He is 33 years of age, 5 foot 8 with a 70 inch arm each. They're reporting that Canelo Alvarez choice next two choices of opponents. It's already being discussed. It's already being finalized. Right? And it's it's, it's uh and it's already being shaped up. One is not a surprise. We know Canelo Alvarez typically historically fights on two dates. One thing for certain, two things for sure. Canelo Alvarez is going to fight in May and in September. He wants to fight Mexican Independence Day weekend, the second weekend in September, and he likes to fight uh, Cinco de Mayo weekend. Now, Cinco de Mayo weekend, he typically lands on that date, right, accurately. Now, don't always be May 5th, but it'll be this year's May 4th. So he typically lands those dates. Now, in September, sometimes it's hit and miss, where, like this year, he fought September 30th instead of fighting the second week in September. So he usually typically fights and gets his dates correctly, right? So with that said, the first opponent is not a shocker. We already knew that uh, Canelo Alvarez was reportedly going to face off against undefeated two-division world champion, former now WBC reigning middleweight world champion, superstar boxer, Jamal Hitman, Lions only, Charlo, who is 33 wins, no loss, no draw, 22 wins by way of knockout, 33 as an A, six feet tall with a 74-inch arm each, right? We knew that Canelo Alvarez was going to fight or reportedly going to fight Jamal Charlo. Jamal Charlo is the identical twin brother of Jamel Charlo, right? Whom was his last opponent that he fought September 30th. They're identical twin brothers. He beat, he dropped them in the seventh round and won a unanimous decision, right? And now... Canelo Alvarez, we knew that storyline was there. We knew this was a possibility uh, that he fights, you know, um, uh, 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 Jamal Charlo. That was being reported, okay? Now, Mexican Independence Day weekend falls on the 14th, right? For Canelo Alvarez. It's actually the 16th of September, but the 14th because he fights on Saturday. So May 4th, we, we already heard that he's going to fight Jamal Charlo. But now, shockingly, shockingly, they're reporting because we know he has a three-fight uh, uh, deal with the PBC, Premier Boxing Champion Founder Advisor Al Heyman. He already satisfied one fight. Jamal Charlo would be two fights. And now, the third fight, shockingly, is reportedly not the guy everybody expected. Everybody expected, myself included, that that guy would be undefeated two-time WBC super middleweight world champion, Mexican-Ecuadorian superstar boxer, David the Mexican monster Benavidez, who has 28 wins, no loss, no draw, 24 wins by way of knockout. 
He is 27 years of age, six foot two with a 75 inch arm reach. He's the WBC World Boxing Council President Mauricio Suleiman and board of 32 members. He is the mandatory challenger for that sanction body. It was expected he don't fight him Cinco de Mayo weekend. He's going to fight him in September. Now it looks like they scrapping that. And shockingly, they're going to give the man that wants to fight. Well, David Benavides wants to fight too. But they're going to give another man that wants to fight, apparently. An undefeated three-division world champion. Two-division undisputed world champion. Reigning unified welterweight world champion. Who is superstar boxer and widely acknowledged as the number one pound-for-pound -pound best fighter in the world. In Terrence Bud Crawford. 40 wins, no losses, no draws. 31 big wins by way of knockout. 36 years of age. 5 foot 8 with a 74 inch arm reach. Now, by the time this takes place, Terrence Crawford will be 37 years of age. He turns 37 in September. And now they're reporting that the two guys on Canelo Alvarez's res, uh, radar for his next two fights they're planning is indeed. Terrence Crawford and Jamal Charlo. Now, I'm going to take this and give y'all a scenario of a few things here, okay? Um, so, Salvador Rodriguez of, of ESPN Bahi, Boston, Mexico, or ESPN Deportes. By the way, everything looks like it would be Charlo and Crawford for Canelo in 2024 in that order. As you can see, this is a, a post right there. So people don't say, oh, Blue, you made that up. Right? This He's a, a reporter for ESPN Mexico and ESPN Deportes. And he's saying that he spoke with, this is, he went in depth. And he said he spoke with Team Canelo and people close to the situation and that Canelo is interested in these two fights. Now, we know Canelo Alvarez has went on record and stated that he has no interest in fighting any more Mexican descent fighters, bloodlines, right? Because he represents Mexico and he don't want to fight any more fighters. But then in the same token, he said, but I'll fight anybody. I'm not scared of anybody. But this comes off a little bit suspect, right? Because... Mexicans pride themselves on fighting other Mexicans and having that Mexican pride and having those historic drag out fights. Eric Morales, Barrera, you know, um, Marquez and Morales and Marquez and Barrera. And, you know, they pride themselves on these types of fights. Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. You know, this is the this is what they pride themselves on. They pride themselves on these types of fights. This is why they frown upon Canelo Alvarez, Eric Morales, Barrera, Juanmil Marquez, Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. They frown upon Canelo Alvarez and what he's doing and how he's doing it because their bloodline and who they are and their tradition is fighting one another. Now they'll fight everybody else, but you for sure got to fight your brother and feed them, right? And he don't want to do that. But it also comes across as, so you don't want to beat on Mexicans, but you don't mind beating on African-American or black fighters? Because you choosing Jamel and Jamal Charles, now I understand they've been calling you out. Canelo Alvarez, I feel like he feels slighted more so when the black fighters call him out than when the Mexican fighters call him out. He kind of pushes that to the side. He don't give that too much credence too much of his energy, right? If you ask him about these fights with Mexican fighters, he brushes it off. Now with David Benavidez, David Benavidez purposely identifies as Mexican Ecuadorian or Ecuadorian Mexican because his father is Mexican, his mother is Ecuadorian. So he purposely identifies as such because he don't want there to be any roadblocks. Like he told Canelo, I'm not all the way Mexican. I'm Mexican Ecuadorian, so you don't have to worry about it. There's a rivalry between Puerto Rico and Mexico. He don't mind those. 
but it seems like he's going out of his way to make sure he fights African American fighters because he has an issue with what took place in his career when Canelo Alvarez was dominated by Floyd Mayweather. And the fact that Floyd Mayweather adopted Cinco de Mayo and Mexican Independence Day weekend as the two weekends that he wanted to fight on, right? He wanted to fight on those two dates and Canelo Alvarez took offense to that. And when he fought Floyd Mayweather, he said, I'm taking those dates back. And he lost every round of Floyd Mayweather. He came up short. Now he got the dates, but that's because Floyd Mayweather retired. And he's never been happy with that. So with that said, I think for one, another thing is, that's number one. Number two, this is a blatant duck of David Benavidez. It's blatantly a duck of David Benavidez. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You're ducking David Benavidez. He, uh, I, I was saying before, he's strategically maneuvering around David Benavidez. People were saying, saving the best for last. No, he's, he's absolutely ducking David Benavidez. Whatever they see in uh, uh, David Benavidez, his style, his approach to the fight, they don't like it. A uh, well-renowned two-time trainer, yeah, manager of Canelo Alvarez, a future Hall of Famer, Eddie Reynoso, Reynoso, who match makes for Canelo Alvarez and 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 gives the yay or nay, meaning the yes or no, uh, uh, on on the fights. He gives the okay, the go or the no, no go. He don't see he sees something in David Benavidez they don't like and they don't want that fight. Now, on top of that, so they're strategically David Benavidez is the mandatory. It was his belt he never lost, but still they're strategically maneuver around him. It's abundantly clear. Number three, they're barking up a tree. They're making a mistake. Terrence Crawford's style is all wrong for them. And I told you guys, it'll be reminiscent for Canelo Alvarez, the fighter guy 36, 37, that was Floyd Mayweather's age, who was the pound for pound best fighter in the world. That's Floyd Mayweather, right? Has sim similarities to Terrence Crawford they, their lifestyle and their approach is completely different. Floyd Miller and Terrence Crawford, but their 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 skill set in the ring is somewhat similar, right? As far as being dominant in their area, they can dominate a fight in every facet of the of the of the fight. They're considered the pound for pound best fighter in the world, and they're about the same age. And this is what Canelo Alvarez see in Terrence Crawford, and he feels like he could get his get back. If he can fight and beat Terrence Crawford, that'll rectify losing every round to uh, Floyd Mayweather. And it justifies what everybody said, that he was just simply too young for Floyd Mayweather. He was 23 years of age. He had five title defenses, a unification bout, and over 40 fights. But they said he was too green. But today's time, they'll tell you a fighter is 34 is old. But Floyd Mayweather, 36, wasn't old. Make it make sense. Right? So now he gets to rectify that somewhat in the eyes of many by fighting and beating Terrence Crawford. And if Terrence Crawford moves up as is expected to 154 and wins a belt there, he's only jumping up two weight classes. Now this gives Terrence Crawford the opportunity to become undisputed in three separate weight classes and beat the best fighter of his era, allegedly, right? And so with that said, this is a fight that I think they're making a mistake. Terrence Crawford is going to beat Canelo Alvarez. I'm on record saying that. I'm not hesitating. I'm not uh, uh, thinking about it. His style is going to beat Canelo Alvarez. And then Canelo Alvarez is not going to be happy with the outcome and the results of that. Trust me. So that's what they're saying. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. This is the sport of boxing. Anything subject to change, everything changes. It's the wild, wild west. It's a circus. Let's see how it unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All in one word. That's all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace.